In this video, we'll look at how to create a new meeting room in Adobe Connect. The easiest way to create a new meeting room is by clicking on the Create button on your home screen and choosing Meeting. Any meetings that you create will be stored under your Meetings folder under the My Meetings section. And in this area, you can also create a new meeting room by clicking on New Meeting. Once this is opened up, you'll see a new meeting wizard. Most of the fields in here are optional. There are only two mandatory fields, including setting the language of your meeting, as well as a name. And this name must be unique. The meeting that you will create here is persistent. And that means you only need to create it once and you can reuse it over and over again. So this isn't something that you'll need to do every time you want to have a meeting. You can set up your own personal meeting room. Let's call this Alistair's room and give it a custom URL that you can continue to reuse over and over again. Anything that we put into this room will stay. It will persist in the room until we delete it. Adobe Connect will automatically generate a URL if we leave this field blank. But again, because these rooms are persistent, I'd encourage you to add your own custom name, make it something memorable, something that you may want to even add to your email signature or your business card. We'll call this Alistair's room. We can give it a summary here as well as a start time and a duration. But as I said, these meeting rooms are really persistent. So this is only used for any invitations that Adobe Connect will send on our behalf. So in this case, I'm going to leave these as default because we won't be sending out invitations. I'll have a URL that I can use to invite people to my room anytime. The next part of the new meeting wizard is the template. I can select a template which will define what this room will look like when I first create it. There are three different templates out of the box and we can also create our own templates. We've got a whole other video on Adobe Connect templates and I'd encourage you to watch that. For now, we're going to stick with the default meeting template for this new meeting. Next is the ability to configure access and by default, only registered users can enter the room without permission. I do also have the ability to have guests essentially knock on the door of our virtual room here and the host can accept or decline that request. We can also enable account members to enter the room automatically. Account members are anybody registered in the Adobe Connect account. That is typically other people within your organization. So because I work at Adobe, if I want anybody from Adobe to be able to come into my room without me having to accept them, I could select this second option. And because they are account members, they'd be able to enter my room. If I do not click that, they'd need to ask permission before coming in the room unless I've specifically invited them, which we'll do on the next screen. The fourth option here allows me to let anybody who has the URL of my Adobe Connect room to to enter the room. So in other words, they don't have to knock. They can come right into the room. This is really handy for webinars or any public events where you don't want to restrict access and you don't want to have to allow each and every individual to enter the room. Anybody who's got the URL will come right into the room. I'm going to turn this off and we'll stick with the defaults for now, which is registered users and accepted guests. The next section allows me to set the interface for Adobe Connect, at least for Windows. The time I'm recording this, we have a new Windows application for Adobe Connect and the Mac application is on its way in a few months. We have also moved to a new interface, a more modern look and feel for Adobe Connect. But this option gives customers the ability to switch back to our classic interface if they prefer to use that with their customers. Perhaps they're using a custom pod that doesn't support the new standard view. So this option enables them to choose between the standard view or the classic view. This should default to standard view, but if you'd like to set it to classic view, you can do that here as well. We can set the same options for those joining with a browser. Anybody with a modern browser can join an Adobe Connect meeting by default. Here we can turn both of these off if we don't want people joining through a browser, or we can decide which view they'd be able to access if they are joining through a browser. So here we'll keep the defaults so that they'll come in by default with the standard view, the new modern interface, but they're able to switch to the classic view if they've got the Flash Player and would prefer that. 
The next section allows me to set up my audio conferencing settings. I can use voice over IP with Adobe Connect simply by choosing this first option. If I do have an audio conference set up with my profile, I can choose one of those audio teleconferencing systems. Here, I'll just choose voice over IP and I can hit finish because we're done setting up this meeting. But in this case, I'm gonna hit next to show some of the other options when setting up in a new room. The next page enables me to register users for this particular room. By default, I'm the only person who's got access to this room and I'm set as the host of the room. But if I'd like to specifically invite others so that they don't need to knock to come in, they can just come right into my room. I can search for them, either entire groups or individuals and add those individuals to my room automatically. So I'll add Peter here to my room. So Peter can come right into the room that I'm setting up automatically, and I can choose the status that Peter should have when he comes into the room by clicking on the permissions button and setting him either as a participant, presenter, or host. I can also choose denied if I wanna restrict Peter from coming into the room at all. I'm gonna choose host though, so Peter can host this meeting with me. I'll click next and we'll take a quick look at the final page of the new meeting room creation wizard. That's the ability to send invitations automatically from Adobe Connect to those that I've invited or registered for my meeting room. Again, this isn't an option that you need to use. These rooms are persistent. So this is what uses the date the time and the duration that we added on the first screen if we filled out those uh, fields. We can have Adobe Connect automatically send an invitation to the room and even include a calendar invite. I'm gonna choose not to send invitations here though and I'll click finish. And my room is now set up. I can enter my room simply by clicking on this URL or clicking on the enter meeting room button here. But this room now will always be available for me until I choose to delete it. It's just opening up on my other screen here. I've now got my own room set up with Adobe Connect. I can start populating this with content and reusing it over and over again. That's a quick look at creating a new room in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.